1998 was a pretty great year, sort of. It was the same year that those creepy Furby dolls came out, Google got started, and Harry Potter got published. What's up? But it was a terrible year for cameras. With the new digital age coming out and everything going into overdrive, all the new cameras that were coming out were more awkward than preteens going through puberty. You'll get caught up in it. There was everything from a film and digital combo camera to a camera that shot on floppy disks. Yes, that's right, frickin' floppy disks. And you don't need additional connections or special software. What are you laughing at? Which brings us to the Agfa CL50. Now, I don't normally review old digital cameras, but I thought that this would be interesting because it'll show us how far we've come in 17 years. But I'll warn you, it ain't gonna be pretty. Let's just get this over with. History's full of great ideas that changed the world, but this was not one of them. The Agfa CL50 was a whopping 1.3 megapixel camera. That didn't really make photography a whole lot of fun. In fact, it's actually kind of painful to use. Probably more so than when Voldemort got near Harry Potter. Ah! Ah, that camera! Oh! Ah! Ah! It all starts with this on switch, this loose, easily tugged and bumped button that controls your power. Problem is, if you're trying to handle the camera in any way, you turn it off accidentally. Ugh. I can't tell you how frustrating that is. And if that's not enough of a crime, it takes a full six seconds for this camera to turn on fully. So if you bump into it accidentally like anybody would, you're punished by a horrendous wait time. The worst part is, if you go to play, the camera actually has to go through the six second startup and then pull the lens back in before it can load your final freaking picture in the play screen. God! Who designed this thing? And it's not like your pictures look good anyways. What you're greeted with for your patience is a mediocre picture at best. It's not bad, but I can't even show you on the computer. Why? Well, this is gonna knock your socks off. Look at the memory card it uses. It's called a smart media card, and it resembles an SD card, but in a more goofy kind of shitty way. And it feels like I could snap it in half. That wouldn't be such a big deal, but the guy who designed the card slot on this camera didn't make a push in or push out interface. You practically need pliers to get the damn card out. Come on! Come on! Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Gah! And there's absolutely no way to get the media off this card onto your computer unless you have a 32-bit operating system. I know, because I tried for over a year. So I guess you're screwed if you have this smart media card. Real smart, huh? Overall, the controls are just all over the place. You got four buttons up top with no writing on them whatsoever. Now when you turn it on, you can see some pictures in the crystal display, but they're still pretty cryptic. Who the hell knows what Q square means? And the menu's not much better. I can't figure out what this circle thing. And then what's this like octagon 3D shape thing? I have no idea. And as far as shutter lag, this camera has some of the worst I've ever seen. It's two seconds. Gone is the decisive moment. It's more like now, I'll give credit where it's due. There are actually some really interesting designs on this camera. See that sun thing? Flip it open and you got a battery saving solar powered LCD screen. It only works in the bright sun, but it's a really smart alternative to battery power. I wish they still had this feature on modern cameras, but I guess it didn't make it. See that microphone? For some reason they thought it'd be a great idea if you could record audio memos with each one of your pictures. Ass goblin. Ass goblin. <laughs> Not really a bad feature, but I could only see this being really helpful to some sort of insurance agent documenting different parts of a broken car. Don't want to forget this photo. I want to say this camera is a pocket camera, but it's still a little big for that. Sure, you could put it in your pocket, but you really shouldn't, unless you want to look like you're carrying a brick in your pants. Yeah, I know, it was probably an okay camera back in the day, but at $500, that was like your rent. And for that much money, you better damn well make sure you're getting something good. The only thing it proves to me is that I'm so happy that we're 17 years away from where we used to be. So I'm gonna take this camera and put it out of its misery just for you. You have to destroy it, you know. Well, it's just a camera though. Yeah, but it's the only way. Sorry, Agfa. Avada Kedavra. It had to be done. Glad that's taken care of. <laughs>